Persistent in his pursuit of knowledge, Stephen Hawking has unlocked new pathways of discovery and inspired people around the world. Stephen William Hawking was born in Oxford, England on the 300th anniversary of the death of Galileo on January 8, 1942. At 17 years old, he entered Oxford University. Stephen Hawking has admitted in many cases that he was not the most ambitious student. One day he calculated that he spent about maybe an hour a day on schoolwork. In 1962, Hawking moved to Cambridge University for a PhD in cosmology, and one year later was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is a progressive motor neuron disease, so over time, the victim loses functionality of muscles. And over the past decades, Stephen Hawking has gradually lost the use of most of his muscles, but his mind remains quite keen. I think that once he was hit with this earth-shattering diagnosis, he actually sought a refuge in doing physics. And if anything, it helped him become one of the world's great scientists. Although his diagnosis only gave him two and a half years to live, Hawking married in 1965 and stunned the science world in 1974 with his PhD on black holes. Stephen taught us how to define a black hole. He then made a brilliant discovery that uh, black holes uh, can radiate, Hawking radiation. That then showed the whole world the connection between black hole physics and thermodynamics. And that connection has been a central theme in theoretical physics ever since. He became the Sherman Fairchild Distinguished Scholar at Caltech in 1974. And five years later, Hawking was named Cambridge University's Lucasian Professor of Mathematics, an honor bestowed on only 14 people since 1663. Stephen Hawking is a theoretical physicist of a very specific kind. He studies cosmology, particle physics, gravity. That's trying to understand the very basic laws of physics as well as where the universe itself came from. Hawking sees things that other people didn't see, time and again. He just thinks more deeply than most of the rest of us. And those insights have had big consequences. Even though Hawking deteriorated to the point that he needed a computerized speech synthesizer to speak, he wrote A Brief History of Time in 1988, selling more than 10 million copies. Stephen Hawking's book, A Brief History of Time, which was a bestseller for weeks and weeks was about some of the most profound questions that face humanity. It's really about where we come from and where we're headed, from a physicist's point of view. After expanding upon his work with several more books, Hawking increased his popularity by guest starring in TV shows like The Simpsons, Star Trek The Next Generation, and The Big Bang Theory. I think Hawking is absolutely the most popular physicist, probably since Einstein. There are plenty of other physicists who are working very deeply at nature's secrets, but Hawking has celebrity status that very few scientists reach. Hawking received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009. Although he retired from teaching that same year, Stephen Hawking continues to be hailed as one of the greatest scientific minds of all time. Stephen Hawking is a scientist has had a tremendous impact on our understanding of the universe and the laws of nature. At the same time, as a human being, he has been an inspiration to the world, to his colleagues and to people with disabilities everywhere.